what you call resistance to kill civilians inside Israel. Resistance does not target the civilians, but neither in Israel nor anywhere else. We must go back to the origin of the issue. The Palestinian people were living in peace and security then. The Israelis occupied the land according to the international law and according to the divine laws. The, the Americans and all the peoples, every people when they are when they are occupied, they resist with all that they have. The Israelis, Israel say it's a state and they have an army and they call it the army of defense and they have advanced weapons. They have committed massacres from Deir Yassi to Dahr al baqa to all the analysis of how much pain you're going to inflict when you do the cost and the benefit of trying to make your point and get the world on your side. Do you consider how many, we've talked about Israeli civilians now, how many Palestinian civilians are being killed because of your actions? Do you consider that? It is not because of our action. We are defending our people and our land. And I will respond. Let me tell you. I say to you, I'm the leader of Hamas. I tell you through CNN to the whole world, we are ready to resort to a peaceful way, purely peaceful way, without blood and weapon, as long as we attain our Palestinian demands, the elimination of occupation and the Palestinian state and ending the occupation and the wall, all the goals, all the national goals. I ask you, Yasser Arafat gave this opportunity to the Israeli and to the international community, but the Israelis killed Yasser Arafat, Mahmoud Abbas, whom the world welcomed, he gave this opportunity to Israel and to the international community. What did they do? They made him fail. They let him down. Today, Netanyahu and before him, all the leaders of Israel, they have cornered Shaul. They want the occupation. They want the, they want the continuation of the settlement. What do they want? What does the world need from the Palestinian people? Our people is the victim. And now we want them to raise a white flag and surrender? You say you would prefer the route that did not cause so much violence, so much death. And yet, you say that you would accept a two-state solution, but that you will not recognize Israel's right to exist. Is that still the case? First of all, the offer must come from the attacker from Israel, which has an arsenal, not from the victim. Second, I say to you, from 20 years ago and more, the Palestinians and the Arabs are offering peace. But peace is destroying peace through aggression and war and killing. This eddy, this such failed experiences, we have two options. No, sir. Either there's an international will led by the U.S., and Europe and the international community and force Israel to go through the way of peace and a Palestinian state according to the border of 1967 with the right to return and this is something we have agreed upon as Palestinians as a common program but if Israel continues to refuse this either the either we force them or resist to resort to resistance I accept a state of 1967. How can I accept Israel? They have occupied my land. I need recognition, not the Israelis. This is a reversed question. It might be a reverse question, but it is still the question. All the international agreements about what a two-state solution should look like, and you're talking about the Americans, they agree as well, and the UN, and Moscow, and the EU, that it has to involve Hamas, all parties, renouncing violence, and accepting the right of Israel to exist. You keep telling me why not, and who should recognize whom, but my question is, is there ever a circumstance under which you will recognize Israel's right to exist? I will give you a reply, a direct reply, and a lesson. 
about the direct answer. I accept a Palestinian state according to 1967 borders uh, with the Jerusalem as the capital with the right to return. I know you say when the right to return. Rises, you know everybody is not going to be able to return to Israel. You know that. No, sir. Please. Mother, mother. What? Say it again. Say that again. Under the international uh, agreements, uh, every Palestinian who's living in the diaspora is not going to be able to come back to mother, Israel. Mother. Who said that? That's what, that? that's what the other parameters. I tell you, I accept. They can come to the Palestinian state. I tell you, my sister, you are the CNN, a respected channel. Do a survey through the diaspora where the Palestinians are. If you don't find a majority, a big majority, that want to return to their land, then I'm wrong. But no, they want to return yeah. to their land, of course. Yeah. The international agreements don't provide for that. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. The international agreements don't... Silent about the law. They're not silent. The... They say that under the international agreements, the return should be me, to please. a Palestinian state. Okay? I ask you a question. So I, you're, here's I the ask thing. You a the only thing no, I want no. to ask you is, are you keeping on making excuses for why you won't recognize... I'm answering. I'm answering. Allow me to answer. I have given you a clear answer. I am. I want. I want my state. After this state is established, it decides. It's standing towards Israel. Don't ask me when I'm in prison and under pressure, under Israeli pressure. You cannot ask me as a victim what is my stand toward Israel. I have mentioned my stand. When there is a Palestinian state, and the Palestinians are living like any other people in the world. But you ask me about the right to return. I ask you a question, and you have interrupted me. Why the international community is silent about the law of the right to be silent about the law of the right to return for, that allows every Israelis to return. And the people accept this. The world accepts this. And there are Jews who have never seen Palestine, while the Palestinian who was born on, in Palestine, or his grandfather, or his father, and he doesn't even have the key. This one is not, not allowed, while the Jews are allowed, are allowed. This is double standard. And it's time to stop. Khalid Mashal, hold that thought. We'll be back in a second.